Meantime, booming Pittsburgh neighborhoods like Lawrenceville have seen housing costs increase by as much as a thousand percent over the last two decades. It's pricing the people who have lived there the longest out of their homes. But Channel 11's Lauren Talata learned about a proposed tax freeze that could help out. Certain Pittsburgh neighborhoods have grown exponentially over the years, but that's not always the best news for longtime homeowners paying city taxes. State Senator Jay Costa says his new legislation could help to provide some relief. Pittsburghers who were here should be able to remain here. 90 Pittsburgh neighborhoods, many of which look nothing like they did years ago. As a result, an increase in property values, making it difficult for some homeowners to keep up. We don't want to push out, we want to bring in. Enter the Longtime Owner Occupant Program, also known as LOOP, legislation that would help homeowners better manage property taxes in neighborhoods experiencing rapid change due to economic growth. These are longtime folks who have been part of that community, the fabric of that community, now face challenges with being able to afford what has taken place. With Senator Costa's team provided us this map showing where they believe will make the biggest impact in terms of property values. The red and orange areas show the largest jump in assessed value of homes. Since 2000, the median home price in Lawrenceville has increased tenfold to nearly $350,000. The legislation would give the city of Pittsburgh the authority to freeze property taxes for those longtime homeowners who qualify, many of them senior citizens on a fixed income. There'll be a designated number of years, 10 years, maybe even five years, maybe 15 years in terms of longtime residents in that community to be able to take the effort or make the effort to be able to provide them with some property tax relief so they can stay there. It's our job as elected officials to make life a little easier. This bill does that. Senator Costa plans to introduce this next month during the legislative session. Lauren Talata, Channel 11 News.